you doing, man? Oh, the What's up, you guys? We have made it. Say hello, you on video. Hi, my name is Cameron. I'm doing a little vlog for my uh, YouTube channel, so I got my wife coming in. We're gonna get tickets for the tour. I know they tours. The next tour is gonna be what? Some an hour from now. 1:30. 1:30. 1:30. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys, you want to get your tickets now? Yep. Come on down this way. Yes, sir. All right, next tour is going to be at 1.30. Will that work for you guys? Yes, sir. All right, there's three of you. Yep. All right, so we got two adults and one child. So the last time we were here, this little guy was two years old, and he's six now, so it's been actually a pretty long time. He doesn't remember anything, so we're back again, so to refresh his memory, right? Before we go into the cave, there's no touching anything. We have these oils on our hands where if we were to touch something, this oils would stay on the formations, not allowing it to grow. You don't want to be a cave killer, do you? No. No, so we're not going to touch anything. All right, and there's no food, drinks, or tobacco products to be used. And if you have a bag, keep it to the front at all times, just a safety precaution. Um, there's no lights down in the cave, so make sure you have your uh, flashlights with you at all times. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. All right, great. Y'all follow me? This is Cassie Brown. She's going to be our tour girl. Do you have your tickets? Okay. Oh. Are you the last one in? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, last one in, shut that door for a minute. So the AC won't go out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're now trapped in here. You're going to be stuck with me for a whole hour. Can I get a woohoo? Woohoo! Yeah, Y'all sound so enthused. I'm just kidding. We're always a few minutes away from an exit. So if you start to feel claustrophobic, queasy, just let me know. Always a few minutes away from an exit, okay? All right, y'all follow me? All right, so if you look right down there, that is our basement of the cave. That's about 50 to 60 feet from the surface we were just standing on outside. We're going to be going uphill the whole entire tour. Okay. So if you're very quiet, you can hear something. Water dripping. Yeah, water. Water is the main architect of this cave. So a long time ago, Florida used to be underneath the ocean. It used to be a part of the ocean floor. So when that sea receded, it left behind all of this stuff that we call a cave, which is limestone. Limestone is made up of sand and seashells and any small element you might find at the bottom of the ocean. Currents like the waves would come through and compacted all that together to give us what we call limestone. Do any of y'all live in Florida in here? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you could be living over a cave if you live in Florida. Believe it or not. A cave, believe it or not. There's about 600 caves just in this county in Florida, about 35 in this state park. So imagine how much there is throughout the entire state. It's a lot. <laughs> So as we head over to the next room, this is what we call our tuck and squeeze. It is about four feet tall and two feet wide. So watch your head and watch your elbows. I had the wall. This is cool. Is is all this moisture like groundwater? It just takes uh, about two or three weeks just for the water to travel down here though. Wow. It is groundwater, it just takes a long time for it to get down. Yeah, because it still seems wet. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Alright, so we call this our wedding room because right up here, you can see our wedding cake. <laughs> and right behind it, you can see our five organs. Can anybody guess what kind of music they play? Oh, rock? Yeah, rock. Nice. Yeah, but um, that's good. That's a good guess. All right, believe it or not, people like to get married in here. If you want to be the person to get married inside of a cave, this is a place to do it. We have weddings about two or three times a year in this room, and that's been happening since the 1950s. So if you want to get married here, go right ahead. Also, it's only a 25 max on the guests, so it is the perfect excuse not to bring your future in-laws. Am I right? Leave yep. them at their house. Also, for about only $150, it's already decorated for you. With your stalactites tights hanging tightly to the ceiling, your stalactites mites you might trip on because they're on the floor, and the smallest formation inside of a cave are soda straws. So the reason why they're called soda straws is because they're actually hollow on the inside. As the water keeps on dripping down from the ceiling, that water has minerals in it that are picked up from all the soil layers that it has to travel through before it gets to the cave. So it starts to deposit those minerals, and over time it creates layers and layers. And it starts to not be hollow on the inside, creating a stalactite, because that hollowness is built up with minerals now. When the water drips to the floor, it creates a stalactite. Or Stalagmite. <laughs> when a stalactite and a stalagmite meet, that's what we call a column. Our wedding cake is a column. And if you look right behind you, you can see our cave bacon. <laughs> bacon. You know when you're washing your hands and the water flows down to your elbows because it's at an angle? That's what this cave wall is doing. Since it's at an angle, all those minerals are being deposited at an angle. duck formation. You can see his bill, his head, his flipper, and he's sitting on a log. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now when they did start excavating and they found this cave, it was in the 1940s. And a popular cartoon was Mickey Mouse and his sidekick was Donald, Donald Duck. Duck. Yeah, <laughs> so hence the name of the Donald Duck room. But over time they decided to make everything more educational. Yay. <laughs> so they decided to name it the fracture room because there are several fractures right there in the columns. 
Can you let me tell me maybe why they're broken in the center? So, we are actually standing over another cave though. It's just as big as this one, but it's right below us and it fills up with water. It's called the Florida Aquifer. So when it rains in Florida, that aquifer will fill up. Then when we experience a drought, it will go down, making the ground that we are standing on go with it over time. So it causes so much pressure in that column because the ground right above us does not move, causing it to break. Do you see all of the different colors inside of the cave? How many colors do you think there are? At least two. <laughs> There's about three. Three main colors inside of our cave, which all come from the soil layers Florida has. You have your topsoil, your clay, and then your limestone. Those three different layers of soil have three different minerals. So as the water goes through, it picks up those minerals and it drips into the cave, making different colors. So this white stuff you see, that is a mineral called calcite. That comes from the limestone right above us. And then right up there, you can see that orange. That is the iron coming from the clay. As we go down this hill right here, you can see a forming stalagmite. It's very slippery, so hang tight to your right. We don't want any busted buds today. We're also going through our only man-made hallway. The reason why it's the only man-made hallway is because on this side of the cave, used to be a completely different cave system than what we were about to go into. So they decided to combine the two together to create the bigger cave for us. All right, so y'all follow me. I can see what it's going to be slippery. Right? Slipper right there. <laughs> Pretty cool. the ceiling you can see all types of fossils. This is the room with the most fossils in the ceiling. You can see shells, pieces of coral, and these things called forums. They kind of look like sand dollars but they're not. What are we looking for? Huh? Oh. <coughs> Shells. No, stop. Okay, mm honey. -hmm. Also, as we go through the rest of our tour, you'll probably be able to see the white stuff, the calcite I was just telling you about in the fracture room. If you look right here, you'll notice at the end of our tour, a lot of it is really crystallized. It's what we call crystallized calcite. So when that mineral gets wet and dry over and over again, that mineral starts to become crystallized. It kind of looks like somebody just threw a lot of glitter on there. by themselves that was highly unlikely for them to ever be in here by themselves where they're excavating the cave but just in case they would tie a rope to that tie a rope to themselves it's 100% human in here so it'd be very easy for their lantern to burn out so they could go that way they could go that way if they were to burn out this would be like insurance to them back in the day because they could go all the way back where this rope was attached see that entrance and exit and they would know right where to go 
several of the rooms after what they saw in Europe while they were fighting for our country. But my boss, she likes to call this the imagination room because she likes Thanksgiving in here. Do y'all like Thanksgiving? All right, so as we go down, we're fixing to go through what we call our catacombs. So watch your head and watch your step. <laughs> Catacomb down here, I promise you, it just looks like it. <laughs> also, about yay high, you can actually see this is the original flooring. A group of men came down here and they started to excavate it. So, we are getting closer to the surface, so that's why it's kind of getting lower and lower as we go up. Yeah, that can go anywhere pretty much, <laughs> they have no boundaries. Alright, so as we go through this hallway, you can kind of see that it looks like a catacomb. Nothing that would be inside of a catacomb, just like, you know how they clear out a shelf and then they would put something inside of a catacomb? You know what I'm talking about? Well, that's what it looks like. So as we go through this hallway, you'll be able to see that in the original floor. So watch your head and watch your step. This is the end of the tour. 